page of The Guardian this morning is absolutely horrific. Graveyard for children. For children. Israeli airstrikes, the largest refugee camp in Gaza. 3,542 children dead. Dead. Just in the next street over there, this is this is where we live. In the next street over there is, is my daughter's primary school. There's 300 children in that school. This means that every single child, every single child in my daughter's primary school is dead, murdered, bombed. Can you imagine the reception children, year one, year two, year three, Four, five and six, all 300, dead. Times by 12. 12 primary schools massacred. Is that what it says? Is there really international law in the world? What does it say about killing children? What does it say about bombing refugee camps? What does international law say about that? Israel military confirms it bombed Gaza's largest refugee camp. We have received this from Action Aid. We have received the worst news possible. The Israeli bombing has killed our colleague Nua's entire family, mother, father, sisters, brother. We have no words for the grief, for the barbarity. More children have died by bombs in Gaza this month than in, in the entire last year across 24 wars according to Save the Children and the cross-party consensus. Keir Starmer, yesterday, he said, no, no, now's not the right time for a ceasefire. The 12 primary schools, all the children dead. Now's not the time. And that's in America. It's horrific.